In today's video, I want to highlight a Grand Theft Auto 6 rumor that is making the rounds on the internet right now. And when I read this rumor, I had to immediately think that this has to be fake. It sounds absolutely absurd, but a lot of information was quote unquote leaked. Again, I'm not really buying it and that's why the title suggests this rumor to be fake. But since it's making the rounds on the internet, I did want to give you my input and my speculation on it and why I'm coming to the conclusion that it has to be inaccurate. But the rumor does suggest a release date, a location, and PlayStation 5 timed exclusivity, which I think is a dead giveaway. That this can't be real because a timed exclusivity for PlayStation 5, while a lot of PlayStation gamers would be like, oh, that's so cool, that would be a huge coup for Sony from a Rockstar and Take-Two games perspective. I really can't imagine a decision like that being made for a wide variety of different reasons. Also, another crazy rumor is going around right now, and that's regarding The Last of Us 2. I find this rumor, unlike the GTA 6 rumor, to be somewhat plausible, but I also find it to be absolutely hilarious, and we'll get into that in a little bit. But out of the two rumors, and Gaming Intel kind of had the insight on this, so we'll leave links to that in the description box below, I do find The Last of Us 2 rumor to be a little bit more plausible. Let's go over these insane GTA 6 rumors, which again, I'm thinking thinking are fake, but let's see what the rumors are suggesting. A post made on Pastebin from someone who is claiming to be an anonymous developer is suggesting these for GTA 6. That Rockstar Games is set to most likely release GTA 6 in the holiday season of 2020, and from the leaker, GTA 6 will be taking place in both Miami and New York. Now, out of those rumors, I don't find anything like that to be too much of a giveaway that it's fake. I do think a holiday 2020 release is a bit too early. I mean, you guys might point to the fact that GTA 5 released all the way back in 2013, but do keep in mind Red Dead Redemption 2 just released in fall of last year. They're continuing to work on Red Dead Online and GTA is a franchise that we know Rockstar really likes to take their time with. Now, as far as the window is concerned from GTA game to GTA game, it has been quite a while since the release of GTA 5. By the time holiday 2020 rolls around, it would have been seven years since the initial release of GTA 5 and you would think that a GTA 6 has to be in the works. It's definitely in development right now. I just don't know how far along it is and you can point to the fact that GTA 4 was released five years prior to GTA 5, five and a half years if my math is correct, and my memory recollection is on point, which I think it is. So we're definitely getting past that five and a half year stretch, but now they're working on Red Dead Redemption as well, so you have to factor that in. The window between Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2 was eight years, so I would imagine something similar with GTA 6, and I am more led to believe that GTA 6 would be released sometime in 2021, but nonetheless, a holiday 2020 release doesn't seem all too far-fetched. Here's what I think is a giveaway about this rumor being fake, and that's as per the Pastebin post, PlayStation players will be able to exclusively get their hands on GTA 6 one month prior to other platforms. Now, this does go hand in hand with a rumor that went around a few months ago that Sony was actually in some sort of acquisition talks with Take-Two, and I had already found that rumor to be absolutely insane because if you know Take-Two, not only do they own Rockstar, they've got 2K games under their umbrella and they've got 2K Sports. Those would be absolutely massive acquisitions by Sony, and I don't think Sony could go that far to acquire all of that. That's just absolutely absurd. And you know that releasing those games on Microsoft platforms, releasing those games on Nintendo platforms, PC, that inherently makes a ton of money for Take-Two. And for Sony to acquire all of that, to limit the game deals to just their platforms, that would be a huge stretch. And that's why I think this Grand Theft Auto 6 will end up having not much substance to it. Now, if this does harken back to that Take-Two and Sony talk, I don't know. That would be absolutely insane. And that would be an incredible coup for Sony. But nonetheless, GTA 6 being a timed exclusive and only being a timed exclusive for one month, that is such a head scratcher. When do we see games being one month timed exclusives? If anything, games would be a six month timed exclusive, maybe a one year timed exclusive. Maybe you'll get one month of timed exclusivity for DLC content and whatever the case may be, but a game itself? A one month timed exclusivity period would be very strange and you would imagine that if Take-Two went to Sony and even approached them with this deal or Sony approached Take-Two with this deal, and then you would think Take-Two would then in turn talk to Microsoft and see how they feel about it and see if they can work anything out at that point you would think that some sort of deal would be worked out because Microsoft isn't stupid enough to allow Grand Theft Auto 6 to be a timed exclusive on a PlayStation platform for even one month. That's just a little ridiculous to me. And again, I think that is the dead giveaway. But let me know what you guys think. What do you think about the idea of a holiday 2020 release for Grand Theft Auto 6? Do you like the idea of the game having two different settings of both Miami and New York? I think that could be relatively interesting. And I think that would offer for a very compelling game and something a little bit different for Grand Theft Auto. But nonetheless,
nonetheless, as exciting as that would be for me to play Grand Theft Auto 6 in holiday of 2020, which is earlier than I had initially anticipated, and it being featured in Miami and New York that time, exclusivity on PS5 just seems to be a giveaway for me that this doesn't have much substance behind it, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, so there's also a Last of Us 2 rumor going around that I find absolutely hilarious. There might be some substance to this one, but again, this is coming from a post on Pastebin, and this was coming from a supposed EU developer who claims to have been working on a AAA PlayStation 5 launch title, and now some fans have noticed that the inclusion of Last of Us 2 Remastered releasing as a PlayStation 5 launch title. Now, this is hilarious to me because we've gotten to a point in gaming where people are talking about a remastered version of a game before the actual game itself releases. Now, how hilarious is that? I don't know. I just found that to be absolutely hilarious. However, I actually think there's more substance with this rumor. As insane as you guys might think that is for a game to have a remaster already being talked about before the initial game releases, this isn't all too surprising. This is what happens when a game is released really late in generation, and then you have a next generation console releasing shortly thereafter. It's a great way to transition that game onto the next generation platform, especially in the case of an exclusive. If people are making the jump from, say, Xbox to PlayStation 5, well, then it's a way to introduce them to that game. And if past is prologue, we've seen this in the past before. I point to you The Last of Us 1. Yes, that game came out in June of 2013, a year later after the PlayStation 4 was released. Not necessarily a launch title, but a Last of Us remaster did come. I point to you Grand Theft Auto 5. We're talking about GTA 6, but GTA 5 released September of 2013. A year after that, we got GTA 5 on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Look, if anybody's gonna take notes from Rockstar, one thing they need to take note of is how to create a game that you can create residual revenue off of a game that you can pretty much do nothing with it but you can get people to buy over and over again Bethesda has done this immensely well as well how many different platforms was the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim released on and how many platforms don't be lying I want you guys to comment down below how many platforms did you buy Skyrim on how many platforms did you buy GTA 5 on I think with the majority of you guys it's gonna be either two or more maybe some of you guys were blessed and you only bought it once I don't know what to say to you you guys are very smart very lucky to actually have a couple more brain cells than I do but nonetheless I do think The Last of Us Part 2 will eventually be released on the PlayStation 5. However, I don't think you guys should jump to the conclusion of, oh, this means The Last of Us Part 2 will be released in 2020. No, I think The Last of Us Part 2 is guaranteed to be a 2019 release, fall of 2019, but much like The Last of Us 1, and Sony has already realized that, yeah, they can remaster their games and people will buy them over and over again. Not necessarily over and over again, but people will buy it twice. I bought all of the Uncharted games last generation, and then I bought the Nathan Drake collection too. I think a lot of you guys fall into that camp as well. The Last of Us Part 2 too. If it's released on PlayStation 4, it runs pretty well, but then if they release a 4K, you know, stable frame rate version, better visuals, whatever the case may be on PlayStation 5, you've got that extra horsepower to work with, why not put it to use? And you can definitely do so with The Last of Us Part 2, and as a launch title for a PlayStation 5, I think that would be really great, especially if you just want to accentuate the power of the PS5, and if people are jumping over from Xbox One to PS5, because I do think that could be a reality, especially for some that have stuck with Xbox all this generation, but they're coming to the conclusion that, yeah, PlayStation does have the better first party lineup and the better exclusive lineup than The Last of Us Part 2 being a launch title. That would be one of the games they go to right away. But I don't think you could highlight the PlayStation 5's launch title with The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Absolutely have The Last of Us 2 Remastered as a supplementary title, but you have to highlight that launch with something like a Horizon Zero Dawn 2, something like a new Kill Zone, an original game that's created ground up for the PlayStation 5. You can't highlight any launch with just a remastered. Although I guess that's what Nintendo kind of did with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, that was the main game for the Nintendo Switch's launch, and that was essentially a Wii U game, but nonetheless, I don't think that's the best route to go, and with Breath of the Wild, I do believe the Wii U and Switch versions were released day and day, and it's a little different of a scenario because nobody bought a Wii U, but nonetheless, let's not go down that rabbit hole right now. I do think Last of Us 2 will come to PS5 at some point, whether it be a launch title, whether it be shortly thereafter. I do eventually think that will happen, but take it as rumor for right now. So that's gonna conclude this video again. I think the Grand Theft Auto 6 rumor, yes, it sounds cool, but I just think it's way too insane, way too off the wall, way too much of a stretch, a one-month timed exclusivity? Come on. That's a little bit ridiculous to me. However, the notion of The Last of Us 2 remastered, yes, we're talking about a remastered game ahead of the game actually being released, but nonetheless... I very much think that is possible. Sound off with all of your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. Definitely interested to hear from you guys. What do you think about this GTA 6 rumor? What do you think about the idea of The Last of Us 2 remastered being a PS5 launch title? Comment all your thoughts down below. That's going to conclude this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.